Hello friends, welcome back to G-Centric. So in the previous lecture, we have seen the KCL problems. So in this lecture, we will move on to further more problems. Okay. So the question 8, it has come in gate 2003 in electrical branch. So they have given us this circuit and we have given VR and VC value that is voltage across resistor and voltage across the capacitance. Now we have to find the voltage across the inductor. Okay. So for that we have apply only the concepts that we have learned till now. Okay. So we will apply KCL at this common node that is A. Okay. So now the direction of this 2 ampere is known, the direction for this is also known that is 1 ampere but they have not given direction for capacitor and inductor. So we know that capacitor and inductor are energy absorbing elements hence they are passive. So the current enters in the positive terminal of the capacitor and inductor. So positive and negative sign of the voltage they have already given. So we, we, we can write this current direction as current direction in this way. Here also it is I L. So now we will apply KCL. So KCL at node A. Okay. So we will get 2 plus 1 that both are incoming. So 2 plus 1 is equal to IL plus IC. They are leaving the node. So it is nothing but we will equate in terms of IL because we need the voltage of inductor. IL is equal to 3 minus IC. So this IC that is current in the capacitor, we know the formula how to calculate it. It is nothing but C into dV upon dt. So it is nothing but 3 minus CV upon dt. So they have given us the voltage across the capacitor. It is nothing but 4 sin 2t. So we will substitute here 3 minus value of capacitance. They have given us 1 farad. So d of 4 sin 2t upon dt. Okay. So this we can again differentiate it. Differentiation of sign is nothing but cos. So 2 into 4 is 8. We will get 3 minus 8 cos 2t. So this is the amperes across uh, inductor. Okay. The current through the inductor. Now we know the formula for calculating the uh, voltage across this uh, inductor. It is nothing but L into di upon dt. Okay. So, we can write it as I L of t sorry V L of t is nothing but L of d i c upon dt d i L upon dt. So, we have calculated the value of the inductor current. So, we will substitute here. They have given the value of inductor that is 2 n re. So, we will keep as it is 2 upon differentiation of that value 3 minus 8 cos 2t upon dt. So, we know that differentiation of constant is 0 and differentiation of cos is minus sign. So, minus into minus becomes plus sign. So, 2 8s are 16, 16 into 2 is 32 sin 2t volts. So, this is the voltage across the inductor. So, we have applied only the values that only the concepts that we have learned till now. Okay, we, this we can be solved in using KCL and this was asked in gate 2003. Okay, so moving on to the next question, they have given that the currents I1, I2, I3, they meet at a node as shown in this figure. So they have a common node that is here and we have to, they have given, they have also given I1, I2 and I3 values. So we need to find the magnitude of this I3. So, we will apply again KCL at this point and we will call it as node A. So, KCL at node A. So, what do we get? I1 is incoming. So, I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. We will take I3 in the other side. We get I1 minus I2. So, they have we will substitute the values whatever they have given. So, I3 they have given as I3 cos omega t plus 5. We do not have to bother about the angle as they have not asked anything about the angle. Okay. So, our uh, aim is to only find the magnitude of I3. Okay. So, uh, I1 is 3 cos omega t 
minus I2 is 4 sin omega t. So, now to compare any two quantities, we need same measuring unit. So, if it is in kg and the other unit is also in kg, we can compare both the values. So, if one is given in kg and the other one is given in kilometer, we cannot do that. Okay? So, both should have the same measuring unit. Now, uh, since here also sin is here, cos is there, cos is there, they are uneven quantities, so we cannot measure them. What we have to do is either we have to convert the cos terms into sin terms or we have to convert this sin into cos terms. Since both are cos terms, we will convert the value of sin to cos. So, there are basically two formulas, two important formulas to convert from one uh, trigonometric term to another trigonometric term. And first formula is if sin is given sin of omega t plus minus phi, then the, it can be converted to cos as it is. If plus is here, then plus will be here. If we, the angle is in negative, we will get it in negative. Okay. Second formula, if cos is given, if you know the cos, then it will be opposite sign or for converting it into sign term. Okay. So, if it is cos omega t plus phi, then you will get minus sin omega t. If it is cos omega t minus phi, then you will get plus sin omega t. So, now what we require here is negative term of the sign. So, for the negative term of the sign, we need positive cos omega t plus phi. Okay. So, we will write it over here. I 3 cos omega t plus phi. Okay, which is equal to 3 cos omega t plus magnitude there won't be any change. So, we will keep plus 4 and we will convert it into cos. It is nothing but omega t plus phi. So, basically here it is not phi, it is 90 degrees. Okay, it is 90 degree. So, now here since they have not asked anything about the angle, we will take general as phi. So, now they are, uh, we will be able to compare the quantities. We will take the magnitude of this side, it is nothing but 3 square upon 3 square plus 4 square is equal to root 25. So, the magnitude of I3 is nothing but 5 amperes. Okay. So, this is the answer for the question and this has also been asked in gate 2016 instrumentation branch. Okay. So, what we have not done anything just applying the KCL at this node. Okay. So, next we will move on to the next problem. Okay. Coming to the 10th question. So, they have asked us to find, we have to find I, I1, find I1, I2, I3 and I4. So, if you see the network, it is in a zigzag pattern. So, whenever a zigzag pattern is given, we will redraw into a normal simple circuit. Okay? So, to do that, first we will identify the nodes. So, we have got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 nodes. So, now if I take this as node A, I can take this also as node A. That is because they have got same potential and there is no element present in between that branch. So, I can take it as A. Now, when I take this as A, similarly this has also got same potential as A. So, I can mark this point as also A. Now, for this B, there is an element. So, it cannot be same potential as A. We will take it as B. Now, if it is B, then this point is also B and if this is B, this has also got B. So, all the nodes at A and B, they have the same potentials. So, you can see that all the elements are in between A and B. They are connected in between A and B. So, we will redraw the circuit. Okay, we will identify this. We will mark here as node A and here node B. So, we will start drawing the circuit. So, in between A to B, we have one resistor that is 25 ohms. Okay, so, this is 25 ohms and uh, the voltage is given as plus minus. So, the positive polarity is with A and negative polarity is with B. So, we will mark here negative and positive V. Okay. Next, we will move on to B and A. Now, this is dependent source. So, the diamond symbol represents the dependent source. 
so we will draw it between a and b and how the arrow should be this arrow is pointing towards a so we will point this towards a so this is also having same potential as a and its value is 0.2 volts okay so next from again a to b we have 10 ohm resistor so we will mark here 10 ohm next from b to a we have one independent current source and the arrow is pointing towards b so we will mark it down okay and its value is 2.5 amperes next from a to b we have again 100 ohm resistor 100 ohm resistor okay so this is the simple circuit diagram and this type of diagram we have seen in the last lecture so what does it represent now it has got same potential so in the last lecture we have seen if they have same potential then we can all together take this and make a common node because they have got same potential and this we can take it as ground so this whole point is grounded okay so we will take here a common point okay so this is capital a this we will call it as node which is nodal voltage okay so now we will mark here since this is plus this is minus and resistor is a passive element i can write current through it is i25 and uh, this is also passive so if the sign is not given we can assume any sign convention and if it's positive here then the current will be in this direction if you take positive polarity here it will be current will be moving in the opposite direction okay so here also we will take plus minus i100 so this is i10 okay now whatever the voltage is here since these are all parallelly connected same voltage appears everywhere so this is also v and here also v now we will apply the kcl at node a so when we apply kcl at node capital a then see all the in uh, no currents that are going away from the node i25 i10 i100 and 2.5 okay they are all moving away from the node and this is the incoming current so we will write it as 0.2 volts is equal to i25 plus i10 plus 2.5 plus i100 so now from ohm's law what we have know that v is equal to i into r and if you want to calculate i we can take v upon r so here we will substitute all the current values in the form of v by r so basically current uh, kirchhoff's current law is nothing but calculating the current okay so i25 i can write it as v upon r we don't know v but we know the value of resistor that is 25 so v upon 25 similarly for this v upon 10 they have already given the current source we will keep as it is then i100 it's nothing but v upon 100 okay and this is 0.2 v okay now what we will do is we will uh, calculate the value of the v it's nothing but 50 volts it comes out to be 50 volts now after calculating this 50 volts we can calculate the values of i25 i10 and i100 we will substitute their values here so for i25 what we will get is 50 upon 25 it's nothing but 2 amperes similarly for i10 we can calculate is v by 10 we will get 5 amperes and v for v100 we will calculate is 50 upon 100 it's nothing but 0.5 amperes okay so now we have got the values of current but this is not the final answer because we need to calculate the values of i1 i2 i3 and i4 so coming to this circuit diagram i'll rub this one so we can apply the kirchhoff's current law kcl at each of the nodes here now i can apply kcl at this node when i apply kcl at a 
So, what do I get is this is also outgoing current. So, since this direction we know it is positive terminal passive element and we know the current across 25 ohm that is 2 amperes. So, both are leaving. So, I 1 plus 2 is equal to 0, I 1 is equal to minus 2 amperes. Okay, so, this is first value of current I 1. Now, we will calculate the I, I 4. We know the current across 100 ohm that is nothing but 0.5 amperes. Okay, so, again both of them are leaving I 4 plus 0.5 is equal to 0. So, I 4 is equal to minus 0.5 amperes. Now, we will calculate the current of I 2. So, we will apply KCL here. So, or how many branches it has got? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, we will apply KVL here. We know the current across uh, 10 ohm resistor that is nothing but 5 ampere. So, if I take the polarity in this way, we will get 5 amperes here. So, applying KCL here, this is incoming, this is incoming, this is outgoing and this is incoming. So, I 1 plus 0 0.2 into this V, we know the value of this V, it is nothing but 50 volts. Okay. So, this again is plus 5 and leaving it is equal to I 2. So, we know the value of I 1 that is minus 2 amperes plus uh, it becomes 10 plus 5 is equal to I 2. So, the value of I 2 is nothing but 15, 15 minus 2 is 13 amperes. Okay. So, this is the value of I 2. Now, coming to calculation for I 3, okay, here is I 3. So, it has got 1, 2 and 3 branches. Okay. So, we will calculate it here. It is leaving the node, we'll, it is also leaving the node, but here also it is entering the node. So, it is nothing but this current is 2 amperes which is entering and these two are leaving. So, 0 0.2 V plus A 3. So, this value is again 10, this is 2 and I 3 is nothing but minus 8 amperes. Okay. So, we have got all the values of current I 1, I 2, I 3 and I 4. Okay. So, whenever what we can conclude from this problem is that whenever we have given a zigzag circuit, we can draw it into a normal circuit just by assuming these nodes and uh, representing identifying these nodes and making it into a simple circuit. Okay. So, this completes our KCL. In the next lecture, we will move on to the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Thank you.